Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. Today, we have a beautiful problem from ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. Using this problem, we will learn two things. First, we will talk about binomial theorem. And then, we will also talk about the greatest integer function. At the middle of this video, I will give you a challenge problem. As usual, the best commenter of the month will be awarded with a little something. You can check the link in the description. The first comment will actually show you the best commenter of the previous month, who was Mukunda Bhardwaj. So, he got free access to one of our self-paced programs and we had a lot of fun with him solving beautiful problems. So, make sure to solve the challenge problem, okay? Alright, so what does this problem say? The problem says that this is 9 plus square root of 80 to the power 20. We want to find out the greatest integer that is smaller than it. So, for example, let's say 1.9. This box or this third bracket is a very special function. What does it do? Well, it gives out the greatest integer smaller than this number. So the greatest integer smaller than 1.9 is just 1. Right? The greatest integer smaller than 1.9 is 1. So let's look at another example. Let's say minus 2.3. What is the greatest integer smaller than negative 2.3? So that's again negative 3. So do not get confused by the nearest integer function. For example, the nearest integer to 1.9 is 2. That's a very different function. The greatest integer function is the, the integer which is smaller than the actual number. In fact, we often write numbers like this 1.9 is 1 plus 0 0.9 this part is known as the integer part of the greatest integer smaller than 1.9 and this part is called the fractional part which is written in curly brackets the fractional part so often denoted by i and f the same thing can be done for negative 2.3 so here's a little problem solving strategy. Whenever you have greatest integer functions, it's often useful to split the entire thing up into i plus f. Okay. So for example, for negative 2.3, we can write it as i plus f, which is i is negative 3, f is 0 0.7. f is the fractional part. So the fractional part by convention is always positive. The greatest integer smaller than the number could be positive or negative. So what this function's problem says is that we have a number, it's a giant number, 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20. We want to find out, we want to find the greatest integer smaller than 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20. And the answer is very interesting. So, this is the first thing that you have to observe while looking at this. Is that this number, square root of 80, is very, very close to 9. After all, square root of 81 is 9. Right? In fact, 9 and square root of 80 are closer than the value of 1, which means 9 minus square root of 80 is actually less than 1. It's a fractional number. How can you test it? Well, you can bring the 1 to this side, root 80 to the other side, and check 9 minus 1 is square root of 80, which is obviously true, because 8 is square root of 80. Why? Because you can square both sides and check 64 is square, less than 80, which is true. So, 9 minus square root of 80 is less than 1. In fact, if I have a number, let's say 0 0.3, and if I 
raise it, this number is less than 1, if I raise it to whatever power, 2024 let's say, it will still be a fractional number. That is a very, very important fact and we will be using it in this particular problem. If you have a fractional number, no matter how big it is, how close it is to 1, fractional means it's between 0 and 1 in this particular case. If you have a fractional number, even if you raise it to very high powers, it will still be less than 1. So, 9 minus square root of 80, we know that this is less than 1. So, if I raise it to whatever power, let's say 20, it will still be less than 1. So, this number, 9 minus square root of 80, raised to the power 20, is a number between 0 and 1. And this is the fact that we will be using in solving this problem. This is 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 plus 9 minus square root of 80 raised to the power 20. So let's look at this sum. My claim is that this is an integer. This entire thing. Now we know that this is something between 0 and 1. We know that it is something between 0 and 1. It's a fractional number between 0 and 1. We know that, this entire thing. So, this number, whatever it is, plus some fractional number, that is an integer. So, if you subtract, well, that is a challenge question. I want you to answer it in the chat actually. So, challenge. If this is an integer, and that we will prove, if 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 plus 9 minus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 is an integer, can you tell me the fractional part or the, in, the greatest integer smaller than this 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 plus a fraction is an integer we will prove that then what is the greatest integer smaller than 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 it's just a one-line question. You have to subtract something from this sum. What is it that you have to subtract? That's a challenge question. Put the answer in the comment section. But let's go, go about this one. So the, here is where we will, we will be using the binomial theorem. So it's very simple. 9 plus square root of 80 raised to the power 20 plus 9 minus square root of 80 raised to the power 20, all the odd powers of the square root will cancel off. So you can actually do this. 9 choose, 20 choose 0, 9 to the power 20 square root of 80 to the power 0, plus 20 choose 1, 9 to the power 19 square root of 80 to the power 1, 20 choose 2, 9 to the power 18 square root of 80 to the power 2 20 choose 3 9 to the power 17 square root of 80 to the power 3 and it will go on up to 20th power but then we can do the denominator the other other piece so the other piece will be exactly this thing with the negative sign for every odd power Let's just copy and paste it. Yeah. Here it is. And here, it, we will just have negative signs for every odd power. Oops, sorry. This one was even power. This one was even power. So we have... So if you know binomial theorem, 
Of course, this is something that you already know. If you don't know binomial theorem, here is how you can think about it. A minus b raised to the power 20 is simply a plus minus b raised to the power 20. So you are basically raising minus b to the to the powers. And whenever the power is odd, one negative sign will come out. Okay, that's how you can think about it. Okay, now we can cancel this off. Cancel this off. So you see, we are remain we, we only have the even powers. Now we know that even powers of a square root of a number is always an, an integer. So this sum is actually an integer, which is exactly what we claimed. This is an integer. We don't need to know what integer it is, but it is an integer. So what we just proved is that this sum is an integer. Earlier we saw that this little piece is a fractional number. So can you tell me what is the greatest fraction, greatest integer smaller than 9 plus square root of 18 raised to the power 20? It's just a one line answer. Give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep subscribed. Stay subscribed for the next video. We'll do some great problems. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.